Welcome everyone back to my channel, Parent Teacher Magic. This is Miss Rosa. In this video, I'm going to be talking about kindergarten math. Kindergarten is broken down into different domains. So I'm going to explain the counting and cardinality domain. I'm going to explain the standards by showing you some sample tasks of how the child can master the standard or what they're looking for, I should say. And I'm also going to include some progressions for you of how these standards change from one grade to the next. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about counting and cardinality, but in upcoming videos, which I hope you stay tuned for, if you subscribe, I'll be touching upon operations and algebraic thinking, numbers and operations in base 10, measurement and data, and geometry. To begin, I'm going to explain the math standards for counting and cardinality. Knowing number names and count sequence and counting to tell a number of jobs of objects means different things and I'm going to explain what these mean in just a few moments. You can look these up in your State Department of Education's website as well. Knowing number names in the count sequence is just that. The student knows that a number represents a certain amount. The student should be able to start counting not only from zero or one but from any number on and the child should be able to count by tens to a hundred or by ones. Speaking of tens, tens is a main objective in Common Core Math. We want students to be able to picture a 10 as 10 dots in a frame, and 20 as two tens, and three tens are 30, and so on. So it's almost like we are trying to start having them do some mental math, but that mental math includes knowing what a picture of 10 looks like. And this will definitely come in handy in upper grades. We may think that it is an obvious thing that students would be counting an object when you ask them how many. But believe it or not, a lot of students still struggle resorting to counting when asked how many objects there are on their paper or in their hand because they're not used to it. So we have to train them to count each individual item very carefully when we ask how many are there of something. Speaking of counting carefully, we're teaching students how to count objects arranged in different ways. An array, a circular pattern, or a scattered pattern. An array is introduced because later on in third grade when they start multiplying, they'll understand that an array is an organized way to put groups together of same amounts and so on. Circular counting, we're teaching them how to use strategies to count correctly and not recount a star or an object that they already touched. And scattered, we teach them how to use a different strategy so that they can count correctly and not recount something more than once as well. Now I'm gonna speak for myself on this one, but I'm pretty sure that most teachers like myself we want to train our kids to be independent learners, which means they can think for themselves when they come upon a challenge. They are going to use their strategies that they learned in the classroom. For example, like I said about counting carefully, a circular pattern of objects, we teach them to do a counting path. This is what Eureka calls it, a counting path. It makes the student draw a line from one object to another so they can see which things have already been counted. We also train them to move an object one at a time so that they can see which object has already been counted. By using cubes or objects or even pictures, we want the students to understand that each number is one more than the last previous number. And once again, you might think they already know this, but they have to see it to actually understand that. And we also want them to be able to count out the amount of objects when they're giving a certain number. So if the robber tells me to give them five bags of money, I better know how to count out five bags of money. So the student will be given a number and hopefully they'll count out that many objects. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. If you have a question or comment, let me know down below. Show me some love by smashing that like button and subscribe to my channel. Visit us on Instagram and Facebook. Have a wonderful day.